Hey guys, so today I have a haul for you and it's a little bit different than your typical items that you see in usual hauls. These are all items that I bought when I was on our Caribbean cruise. Um, so the videos have been lacking a little bit this past week because I've been working really hard to get my daily vlogs posted um, from the cruise on my Christy TV channel. So you can head over there by now. All eight days have been posted and a couple extra videos thrown in there as well. Just showing you detailed vlogging of what we did every day on board the Carnival Freedom and on all of our excursions. Um, but I thought I'd do this video showing what I picked up since I know a lot of you were guys were commenting on my vlog saying, oh, I see in that store, did you buy anything? Um, plus I mentioned a couple things that I did buy already. Um, and then a lot of items that I bought, I bought them as gifts. So I already gave them away because I've been back for about two weeks now. Um, so I got two t-shirts, one for like a nice fitted t-shirt from Nassau Bahamas for my sister and then one for her husband and then I got um, a little bottle of rum and rum cake for my co-workers just to thank them for taking my shifts while I was away. Um, so I don't have those items to show you. So then these are all of the items that I have here and my favorite item by far um, are my earrings. This is the exact same as this one here. How you may ask? Well, I'll take this one out. And these are the day to night earrings and they are from Diamonds International or Tanzanite International, but these aren't Tanzanite stone. Um, so this is what they look like when they're dangly. And they're day to night because this is the long night dangly version. And then you can just roll it up. And then there's a little magnet that holds it in and now it's the daytime version and it's just a stud. So I have been wanting these for a very long time. Um, they used to be called um, Diversa and they were made by a company called Effie. And so the past two cruises that we went on, I had I've always wanted them, but they were pricey. Like I'm not going to lie. When I had seen them in the past, they were like, I don't know, I think $300 was the cheapest all the way. I mean, it, all the way up to thousands of dollars. Um, but even, you know, at that time in my life as well, and I was like, you know, $300, that's too much to spend on earrings for me and I'd probably lose them or who knows. Um, and so I didn't get them two years ago. And then we went on our last cruise uh, last year and I still like them, still didn't get them. So then this year I went into Diamonds International and I saw them again, um, now called, yeah, Day to Night instead of Diversa. And, but same concept. And I still really wanted them. So I figured, okay, if I've been thinking about these earrings for three years now, and I still want them, I'm just gonna go get them. So that's what I did. Now I got just the sterling silver ones. So yeah, these ones obviously are, I didn't get gold and I love the Tanzanite stone. It's like this purple stone and I probably would have gotten it because I wear purple, like that's my favorite color. I have so many purple shirts and when I go teaching and in the evening, I'm, I always have purple on practically, uh, or it seems. So the ones, but they didn't have them in this size. It was basically a link bigger and I was like, I don't know, it was almost, would be too big. Even these as a stud, it's getting on the larger side and for my liking. Um, so I didn't want to get big. So I just got these blue ones. It was between, they had the blue ones, the black ones, and then just the white diamond one. Um, so the white looked too plain. The black was almost like too stark. So I was like, blue is good. And in the light, it can look like purple or something. But anyways, so these ones are $275, which is still expensive, but for me it was worth it because I've been thinking about them for three years and they're gonna last a long time I hope and it's just the novelty of having like just having it like this and then just going like this and then it's down like that so I mean it was it's definitely worth it for me so then the next two items are clothes um, so I went into Caraloha which is a store that makes everything out of bamboo um, and not like you know, bamboo wood that we think of, but it's just, it's so soft. And we've been there before, actually we bought the bed sheets um, and like, yeah, all our bed linens are Caraloha and um, we have, I already have a pair of socks as well. Um, and so this time I decided to buy a workout shirt. 
So it's just a plain pink one. They had ones with a couple other details, and again, if you see my vlogs, you'll see I was showing some different ones. But I think this one was the one that flattered me the most. I didn't like it with like the bright green here. I don't know. Um, and last year we went to Karaloa, but I didn't see, maybe the store just didn't have them, but their workout shirts, they didn't have a shelf bra on them. And for me, that's important um, because I am rather large chested. Uh, so that's why I didn't get it. But this one does, it kind of, I mean, it doesn't offer a ton of support, but it has at least that little extra in it. Um, and so with the bamboo, it's super soft, and then every time you wash it, it just gets softer and just, yeah, it's just so soft, but also it is cooling. Um, if you like touch this and touch cotton, it, this is so much more cool. Um, now, it still shows sweat. Like I like a lot of those other ones that are well, like the Lululemon or the Luan ones that don't really show a you don't have like a big sweat stain on your back if you're working out. This does, but it doesn't matter. It's still really nice. So yeah, I got this and I'm very happy about that. And this next one is something that I bought when we were in Tortola. We went to the straw market and saw just all the local selling items. And usually I don't buy t-shirts from there just because I personally, I don't, I don't wear a lot of like t-shirts that have countries or uh, like city names on it. Um, I have a couple that are like black, which was really hard to find in the Caribbean countries, a black t-shirt uh, that I use for dance. You have to wear black anyways, but in general I don't. Um, but I saw this cover up. So it is, I like that it has kind of, it's a triangular top. A lot of the cover ups that I saw, um, they were either like just straight across. Um, actually most of them were straight across. Uh, so this one, yeah, it's a halter top. It goes like this and then like that and it's just all elastic kind of and then it's open here but I liked that it had I like the design it's kind of like flowers and it has a little bit of purple in there since I like my purple um and yeah it's obviously I'm not gonna wear this here um like out and about although I guess you could I just wouldn't feel comfortable in it I guess um but for on the cruise it's perfect because I have another cover up um a Del Sol one that changes color in the sun that actually Chad won at the uh, shopping show last year um, on board the cruise. Um, but so I took that along and wore it. But no, this one I like it. And yeah, it has like nice little bead details here as well. And you know, it's a, it's a great cover up. So I'm happy with that. And then I have this spice. This is Star Anis. And this is a present, this one's from my mom, but we live in the same city, so I told her that she can't have it until I film this video, because everything else I had, like with my coworkers, I gave it the first day. And my sister, she lives near Vancouver, so when we visit her to pick up the dogs, obviously I gave her her present, so I don't have those. So I told mom, I have to keep this, and then as soon as I film, she can have it. This one is from the Bahamas, and yeah, I know she's not like a sweet person or anything, so I didn't want to get her like rum cake or anything, but... It, she likes different kind of spices and the Ani's I think it has like a licorice scent um, or taste I guess so this is for her and another thing Chad and I we were wanting to do is when we go on vacation we wanted to get a Christmas ornament because if you saw my Christmas vlogs I was saying that we have like I think one ornament from Disneyland when we went together and then the rest are, well actually a couple were from me that I picked up, um, but most of them are just like your traditional plastic like colored balls that mean nothing. Um, and I know growing up as a child we had like a whole bunch of ornaments that my grandmother made and other ones like European ones that just meant a lot to our family um, and I realized yeah we don't have any of that and I mean I know we're still, you know, we this was just our second Christmas and stuff. Anyway, so I said that when we go on vacation, every place or every time we go on vacation, I want to pick up a Christmas ornament. Um, so I was looking and a lot of the places, it's, it had like a big flip flop or something and it said Antigua or something. And I mean, that's fine. I mean, if there's a time you're gonna be tacky, Christmas is the time to do it. Um, but just personally, I was like, eh, I'd rather, I, I don't know, I just didn't want to. So I came across this one in Bahamas. So. As if on the far, it looks like a Christmas snowflake. But if you look close, it's actually shells. The green oh. stuff isn't, but even these ones are shells. They're just, yeah, painted um, red. So, and it has glitter on it. And then on the back, it says Bahamas. And then I'm going to write on it um, Nassau, because that's where we got it from. And then 2014, so I know the year that we went and got it. Um, but I'm so happy, and I was so worried this wouldn't um, travel back. I did put it in my carry-on, and they wrapped it really nicely, but I was like, with my luck, I'll open it and it will just be like all sand. And I'll be like, darn. But no, it, it's perfect. So I'm going to pack it up again and 
Oh, it's so beautiful because it looks just like a snowflake. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, okay, so then the next items are not for me. Um, this one was for the dogs. Um, we already got them once a uh, fun chip Freddy, um, the um, mascot of Carnival Cruises. So this one we went to Tortola. We got them a little monkey because we call them our little monkeys. So yes, and it's one of the ones that they velcro so I mean we stick the velcro together so it doesn't stick onto them although this one is a, a supervision only toy because as soon as they like chew this they're gonna eat those beads so I have to yeah, I have to be there watching and I mean it's already starting to rip because it's just a cheap toy but they just get to play with it every so often and then when you take it away for a few days and give it to them again they think it's a brand new toy so they're super happy to play with it again anyways I thought it was a cute little I love Tortola monkey and then now we're just getting into Chad's things. Um, he got a couple items. Um, also from the Caraloha, the bamboo place, he got some boxers, which I'm not going to show you, but he says they're very comfortable. Um, and then he also got a pair of, or a couple extra pair of socks. So last cruise I got some running socks, but they're a little bit too big for my feet. Um, that's just why I don't like them as much. Um, but he really likes them. So they're just black, but they're bamboo, super soft, and they say Caraloa. So we got two pairs of those. And then another thing that we try to do is every place we go to, um, we try to find a t-shirt for Chad that has a sailboat on it or something related to sailing. So it's kind of fun. We kind of go around, even in NASA, we were like, went to all the different, like in the straw market, all the different vendors and you know, first we look around, but then, you know, they're very friendly and vocal, so they're like, oh, what you looking for? Let me help you find something. Um, so then we sat over looking for a t men's t-shirt in large, or just a t-shirt, t-shirt in large with a sailboat. And they're like, oh, so then one lady asked another lady, and then that's, anyways, eventually we found them. Um, but in the other places it was easier to find. So um, some of them are in the laundry already because he likes wearing them, but I have two of them just to show you, just to kind of show you the kind of stuff that we get for him. So this is the one that we got from Nassau. Now I wish it would say Nassau, it just says Bahamas, because um, we went to Freeport last year, um, which is also in the Bahamas, and we got one that also just says Bahamas with a sailboat on it, but we'll try to remember. And then this one um, is, so it says sail fast, and then on the bottom it says Tortola, Virgin Gorda, and then British Virgin Islands. And then we thought it was this, and then it says on the back. Now I think it says live slow, but it kind of looks like, well, yeah, it is live slow. At first I thought it was love slow. I was like, what? But I guess that's the O down there, so it says live slow. Anyways, he, he liked that. And then the last item, which if you watched my vlogs, you would have seen me probably talk about it for like three minutes. Um, but I got a new camera, so we got this on board the ship on the fun shops, and it was it was a better deal than I have ever seen in Canada um, and uh, again I went into this on my vlog but I lost two components of my old um, Olympus water camera that yeah I bought like five years ago or six years ago or something or eight years ago I don't even remember it was a really long time and I lost two components of it so much nicer than my old one but so much better quality as well it's double the megapixels and everything so I'm pleased with that this is more of like a, a long-term purchase because yeah my last Olympus tough lasted yeah like six plus years and it would still last um even when dropping it so many times but it's just i lost like the charger and the cable to the computer and the cable to the computer isn't hard to find but the charger is plus they don't make those um uh memory sticks anymore i forget what my old one has xd i think or s i don't know something that they don't make anymore i went to best buy they're like i don't know we haven't carried those in years um <laughs> Right. Uh, so I'd have to order online anyway, so this was just so much easier to have as well, and less hassle, and I get a new camera. So that is everything that I got on the trip that I can show you. Um, obviously, I head over to my vlog channel, Christy TV 300 to watch all of my vlogs and see some of those items that I bought as gifts that I've already given away. Um, but yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video, and just let me know if you guys have any cool trips coming up in the future, um, or if you make travel vlogs, and let me know as well, because I'd love to see it. I'm always looking for new places to travel to, um, well, in the future, but yeah. Um, so for traveling, kind of our next trip will be... Uh, we may go for like a weekend away um, in June or July, but we're going to Disneyland again at the end of August for the 10k and half marathon and other fun trips and shopping and stuff too. So that's it for today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!